How you doing there folks? Baiters here with another top 10. Today we're going to look at the top 10 must try mods in Fallout 4. These mods are so interesting they make me want to take out my penis and wave it around. And tell the authorities tell me I'm not allowed to winners again, you know? Remember if you're playing on Xbox to keep your eyes puckered for this lazy ball tickler, as those are indicators that that mod featured is available on your console. Note that all the mods featured are available on PC, as we do all our mod reviews on the PC version of Fallout 4. Now go ahead and finger bang an imaginary llama, and let's get to average baiting, baby! At number 10, we've got the Corsair Recall Caller by Nero. Now time travel might be the coolest thing ever. Who hasn't wanted to travel through time at least once, right? Some people would use it to abuse the lottery. Some people would use it to change history. But I would just go back and tell my younger self to stop shaking that old lady. Because future me knows old people don't like it when you shake the shit out of them. Younger baiters did not. Well now you'll be able to time travel in Fallout 4 with this mod installed. Well, sort of. Well, you're not going to be able to go back and sexually molest a pterodactyl or anything like that because it's a much more rudimentary version of time travel. This mod will only send you back several seconds so you can bob instead of weave. Not enough time travel to change history, but enough to save your buns in a tight spot. You feel me? Now, the recall caller is lore-friendly and immersive in that it comes with its own backstory to solidify it in the world space. Apparently, it's an abandoned institute project that will provide the occupant with shortwave time travel. Now, the last prototype of this fancy necklace can be found in the Synth Retention Bureau Armory if you are so inclined to go snooping around. The personal time warp rewinds position, health, and even limb damage several seconds backwards at the push of a button. You can even adjust the parameters at the armor workbench to make it more or less balanced in the game. Now there is also an alternate version for those of you who like to cover your entire body in power armor. Now this is definitely a must try mod for Fallout 4. I rate this mod one chicken who learned how to keep himself off the menu. More coffee? I can also juggle if, you know, if the coffee's not enough. And if that doesn't toot your fancy, I could suck your dick. Please don't eat me. At number 9, we've got Drivable Motorcycle by Slevin92. Now, what's the one thing that's been missing from all the Fallout games? And don't say a big floppy dildo named Big Richard. No, 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 no. The one thing missing is transportation. In previous Fallout games and in Fallout 4, your character has to walk, jog, or meander around the world space like a bunch of no car having wheelless fucks. You're telling me they got robots that are so lifelike you can fucking suck them, but nobody knows how to fix a carburetor? <laughs> no, red light. I don't believe it. Well, with this mod installed, you'll be able to travel the Commonwealth in style with your very own motorcycle. All you'll have to do is go behind the Museum of Freedom and fix this bad boy up with some spare parts. And before you'll know it, you'll be evil Knievel in your way around super mutants like a boss. You can also customize the bike to better bring out your baby blues or just fit your overall aesthetic. This motorcycle can be a little buggy at times, but the mod author did an amazing job bringing vehicle physics to Fallout 4. This is by far one of the best vehicle mods for the game and one that's sure to change how you travel and explore the Commonwealth. I rate this mod one little girl about to bitch slap this giant wildebeest. Listen, little girl, I don't want any. Oh, God, no. Please, for the love of. At number eight, we've got Old World Radio Boston by Brando Man. Do you guys like to listen to the radio? I know I do. Sometimes I like to turn it up to a quiet whisper, press my nipples against my car window, and just gawk at strangers as they're walking by, you know? It's really hard to give off that creepy weirdo vibe without some good tunes on the voice box. Now, Fallout 4 is no different. A good radio station can make those long nights wandering aimlessly around the wilderness a bit more enjoyable. With this mod installed, you'll get that and so, so much more. This mod adds 30 plus brand new voice acted radio stations to Fallout 4 made with top notch production value. Each station feels authentic and does a good job fitting with Fallout 4's overall theme. This mod includes over 300 hours of new radio content, which in case you are wondering, is a lot of content. 
It features celebrities, stand-up comedians, as well as some familiar YouTube voices you may have heard before. This radio mod is the bee's belly button of radio mods. Once you try this mod, you'll be hooked at how quality it really is. Now, because of copyright purposes, I can't actually listen to the radio on this YouTube video, so you're just gonna have to download it and take my word for it. I definitely can't do this radio mod justice without giving you an example, so give it a listen and judge it for yourselves. I rate this mod one photo of Drake when he found out that FouseyTube was outside the building circling the parking lot like a f***ing psychopath. Just beating his d**k and holding his head out the window, hoping that Drake would notice him. At number 7, we've got Far West Minutemen by Morpheon. I think it's safe to say that the vanilla Minutemen are a bit lackluster. Like it looks like a strong breeze could blow them over and I bet if you beat them unconscious with a really big stick, they would have to learn to walk all over again because of the massive head trauma that that would cause. And that's no joke. Sticks are dangerous and in the wrong hands can be used to inflict brain damage. Just ask anyone who's ever been repeatedly hit in the face with a really big stick. They will cooperate the information I'm giving you here with moans and barely understandable hand movements. Yeah, he's telling the truth. You know, because they've been, they've been beaten. Well, with this mod installed, the Minutemen will no longer look like a bunch of premature ejaculators. This mod enhances the Minutemen to convert them into a stronger looking fighting force, with individualism and style that was clearly lacking from the vanilla militia fighting force. Now, this mod doesn't just add super cool steampunk style duds. It also adds a whole new classification system and ranks within the Minutemen, making them look and feel like a real fighting force. Not just a bunch of dudes wearing the same shirt and some go f yourself pants. You know? They'll now have everything from tinkers to pastors to hunters and so much more. All with their own look and function in the group. This is by far one of the best Minutemen overhauls I've seen for Fallout 4 and one I would highly recommend to anyone's playthrough of the game. It's so much fun and adds so much diversity that it makes siding with the Minutemen a whole lot more interesting and engaging. I rate this mod two very unlikely friends just hanging out. Hey, what you looking at? Oh yeah, that one is juicy. At number 6, we've got Soviet Masks by Truly Bristy. A gas masks are important, but will they protect you from everything? No, no they will not. Will they protect your sensory organs if Grandma farts while she's eating her mashed potatoes again? Yes, yes they will. But nothing will protect you from the emotional damage of seeing a 97-year-old woman shart during dinner. Nothing. I still see it in my dreams. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. This mod adds the iconic gas mask of the Soviet Union to the Commonwealth. This mask is sure to protect your nose, face, and eyes from all sorts of invisible enemies in Fallout 4. Now this mask has 15 different skins to choose from, so you can really change it up to match your overall aesthetic in the game. Now if you want to acquire this delicious breathing apparatus, then you can craft it at the chemistry station, or buy it from merchants, or get it off enemies like raiders, gunners, etc. as it has been added to all the respective level lists. And if you're wondering, the answer is yes. This bad boy is lore friendly as it was designed during the Cold War. I rate this mod one hippopotamus scared of a tiny bird. At number 5, we've got Predator Ballistic Mass by Newermind43. Now, Predator is everybody's favorite f***ed up looking alien. Now, would I kiss Predator on its crusty lips for 20 bucks? Yes. Yes, I definitely would. In fact, that's $19 more than I need it. But let's face it, if Elliot found the Predator alien in his bushes in the backyard instead of E.T., that might be an entirely different movie. Would he help Predator run from the government? Who knows? But he's likely not sharing his Skittles with that ugly f***er, is he? No, sir. That's not the face of someone you share Skittles with, is it? Nope. That's the face of a Skittleless alien right there. Which is probably why this particular type of alien chooses to always wear a really sweet mask. To cover up what is clearly a biological mistake. Nobody's face should open up like that. It's just not natural. Uh, sorry about that. I let that get to me. <laughs> Now this mod actually adds a variant of the iconic mask used to cover up Predator's ugliness, including his f***ed up face and giant forehead. This mask works amazingly with all custom meshes and textures and fits really well with the overall aesthetic of the game. Now this is a very unique mod that looks great in the game and it can be incredibly easy to miss if you don't look in the right places. I myself almost missed this hidden gem and I myself scour the Nexus like a psychopath. It was only by creeping on Newer Mind's mod page that I even found this little beauty. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. 
Even though this mod doesn't have a lot in terms of customization, its unique stylish design definitely make it a must-try mod in Fallout 4. I rate this mod two seals being super lazy. There's a weird guy photographing us. Should we swim away? Nah. Just let him have this. At number four, we've got Fall Souls by Cassent. Normal. What is normal, right? I mean, society tells us things about right and wrong and what's normal. For instance, it's generally considered socially unacceptable to sneeze in a baby's face. It's not right, nor is it normal. Yet I've still done it. Not my proudest moments, but it wasn't the first time it happened, and it likely won't be the last. It's impossible to control a sneeze. I mean, they'll sneak up on you when you least expect it. Like when you're mowing the lawn, or dusting the cupboards, or when you're the only adult in the bouncy castle. Now, I do try not to sneeze on babies. I'm not a monster. If I'm about to sneeze, then it's going to happen regardless of whether or not some baby's in the blast zone or not. And little Billy might get a face full of man mucus in the ballroom at McDonald's, which is something I'm sure will come up in therapy for him years later. Point is, we can't stop the inevitable in real life. So why can we pause the game in Fallout and everything just stops? Whether it's looking at the Pip-Boy menus or just adjusting some settings in the vanilla version of Fallout 4, when you go in the menus, everything stops. The menu screens freeze the world space and give the player character an unfair and unrealistic advantage during your playthrough. But not anymore. No. Not with this mod installed. You can't just pull up your Pip-Boy and stop bad sh** from happening. Time doesn't stop in real life just because you look at your menu. So why should it stop in Fallout 4? This mod fixes that time anomaly and makes Fallout 4 more realistic in terms of a fluent gaming experience and keeps the game going in real time while the menus are open. However, if you need a second to collect your shit, you can always turn it on or off in the mod configuration menu. To be clear, this mod will just make it so the game doesn't stop when you're in the pause menu or you're in your Pip-Boy menu, which makes for a more realistic gaming experience and is definitely a must-try mod. I rate this mod one chubby chipmunk and his best friend, a half-eaten corn on the cob. Yeah, he used to be a normal corn on the cob, but I ate half his body because I was hungry. We're still friends, though. Yeah, we're still friends. And number three, we've got Death Matters by Owen25. I mean, it's all in the name here, isn't it, fellas? Death Matters. It's why all those camp counselors aren't smiling and whistling Dixie when Jason Voorhees forgets to take his meds again, you know? It matters, okay? People are afraid of it. It's scary. Death in Fallout 4 was never really an issue, though. Before this mod, you'd die, reload a save, and then you'd be pooped back out into the world space with no real consequences whatsoever, except maybe the loss of a little game progression. Which, honestly, who cares? Unless you haven't saved in 12 hours and turned off the autosave function, in which case, that would suck a donkey's penis. But if you're the type of person who readily saves the game, then really death isn't much of a setback in Fallout 4. Well, this mod aims to fix all that. With this mod installed, when you die, you drop all your stuff, and companions will be dismissed on death as well. Note if you die again before reaching your old body, all your stuff is gone for good. That's right, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Now, in order to respawn with this mod installed, you must start as a generic settler at your closest owned settlement. So your settlers now become like a sort of second string lineup, if you will. That's a little football reference for you athletes out there, okay? You're welcome. There is also a quest that allows you to find your stuff just in case you forgot where that juiced up raider beat your ass to death. This mod definitely makes combat more intense and worthwhile in the game, especially when you're up against enemies that can kill you. This is definitely a must-try mod for Fallout 4, and one that will completely change how you play the game. I rate this mod one cat losing his shit on a phone call. What do you mean you don't deliver? What kind of a pet store are you running here, buddy? I need 12 goldfish, and I need them now. At number two, we've got Pip-Boy 2000 by Alex Scorpion. Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I look down at my Pip-Boy and I think, what went wrong in my life? The Pip-Boy in Fallout 4 is ugly, okay? It's like a big, bulky Fisher-Price watch that's sure to make girls avoid you at the school dance. The vanilla Pip-Boy in Fallout is why 50% of marriages don't last. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I'm positive that it's mathematically accurate. I mean, there's definitely someone out there in the world that when asked why they left their husband, they'd say, because of the Pip-Boy in Fallout 4. It was too ugly. Our marriage just couldn't take it. Now, this mod aims to fix that. 
This mod will take the vanilla Pip Boy and Pretty Woman the shit out of it, making it look a lot more like the Pip Boy from Fallout 76, which wouldn't you know it, makes my dick hard. Now you will need to have Fall Souls installed to have the little lights flicker all majestic like that, but it's worth it though, because that light flicker, yeah, it gets girls wet in their panties. It does. Oh, and you'll also need the Pipad mod installed for this mod to work properly. This mod looks amazing in the game, it's immersive, and it's definitely a great alternative to the vanilla Pit boy Now, I don't want to mislead anyone into thinking that this Pit boy mod will make them better with the ladies, but if you have this Pit boy installed, women will want to fuck you. I'm just kidding, I don't know that that's true. But it couldn't hurt. I rate this mod a group of workers who clearly miss the safety seminar. Four guys just hanging out under heavy machinery, eating their peanut butter and jellies. What could go wrong? And at number one, we've got the Game Configuration Menu by ZZYXZZ. Picture this, it's a Thursday afternoon, you're home alone, the TV's on, Fallout 4 is loading up, your nipples are firmer than a cement erection, you're covered in Cheeto dust and shame, thinking, how can this get any f***ing sweeter? I'll tell you how. The Game Configuration Menu, that's how. That's how. This mod actually allows you to set many of the game's internal settings without using console commands or ESPs. You want your character to jump higher? No problem. Or you want to change the amount of experience gained from completing objectives? Well, that's not an issue. You're just one convenient button click away from having that happen with this mod installed. Everything can be adjusted from NPCs, quests, factions, power armor, random encounters, skills, sneak, sounds, and so, so much more. This mod is like a game genie for Fallout 4, and it can be a lot of fun to just tweak some of the settings and see what happens. You know, roll the dice, spice things up a little. This mod gives you the ability to change the parameters and the way you play the game. It's definitely a must-have mod. I rate this mod one photo of what might have happened to Mickey Mouse if he was a real mouse. Ho oh, ho, is that cheese? Oh. Thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to bitch slap that subscribe button like it's three weeks behind on your rent. Bitch! Where's the money, bitch? Where's the money? Where is it? Also, go ahead and hit that bell icon, too, because apparently YouTube thought there should be extra steps. Why not, right? I'd like to subscribe, but first I have to click this and this and do this. Oh, it needs an email. All right, and this. Okay, Just tell me when he's uploading. Once you do all that, if you're lucky, at the stroke of midnight, a tiny little average baiter's fairy might come and tickle your butthole. Now, I hope to see you all again next time, and remember to keep on average baiting, baby.